to know how much it means to us that you're all here. Your Next was another film that I didn't get to do a years later on because I just missed the mark on it. I missed the date, but I was like, you know, this is a perfect opportunity for me to talk about it in October. So this film is essentially a typical slasher, but it flips it on you because I think, okay, Aaron's the final girl. She's probably gonna figure a way out of this and whatnot. And this is family drama stuff. Maybe the family's hiring these people, whatever. You're thinking it's this typical slasher that I've seen multiple times, you know, but then it's like, guess what? The final girl of this film is a complete badass and she fights back. She knows how to survive she knows all these skills and whatnot and it's like really good it's just kind of refreshing to be like oh okay this is like different starts off as something typical goes completely different and then flips the script on you got everything you want in a slasher film pretty good at kills there's only one that i remember blender kill where she takes a blender puts on one of the guy's head it blends and then i am blinking on the other kills what's another good kill there are some decent kills in this film however with that being said this is my second time rewatching it and with me knowing that aaron's a complete badass and it completely switches the script through or not even halfway through there's like a good chunk like good 45 minutes where it plays out like a typical slasher film and that's when it's like uh, okay that's i don't know about this because i was kind of worried on this rewatch i was like can we just get to her killing all these people and this family that are a part of this whole ruse and then i realized it did take a while to get there a lot more time than it should have been this didn't derail the film for me it was just something that i noticed on rewatch i was like oh yeah i just really wanted to go to that part to her killing showing and shocking all people hey don't mess with her and then they would do like a fake out kind of end where she's one turns out her boyfriend is in this whole thing playing his whole family and getting all the money and then i think she called a cops or someone called a cop and then the cops comes in and shoot her and i was like oh yeah i forgot about this but then i was like she survived and then the movie ends with the act that she sets up you think when watching it would be news but then it's actually a way to end off the film the act going into that cop guy's face probably did and that kind of felt like a way to be like how do we end this movie she kills everyone she kills her lover she's a badass she either dies and gets shot or how do we end this axe swing or i don't know that felt like a how do we end it in a relatively good and happy way and this is it and then the entire family seems like a bunch of really greedy and selfish type of family well at least the two sons i don't know about the other rest of the family they look like okay they are wealthy they don't look like super rich they don't own like a five-story house with like 20 rooms or something like that this is just like a vacation for them but the way they dress the way they act you know they're well off but the whole motivation for the two sons is that hey we're gonna kill our whole entire family so we can split the money or like pay a chunk of it to these robbers or people that we paid and then give half or whatever however they do the money to both the sons this money would help Aaron pay her bills or something it would just be a financial success for this whole ordeal to happen Aaron has money issues and she needs like a debt or something like that it would help from her boyfriend's perspective it would help over them dramatically but she hears over the phone she finds out just like with us and you don't want to think about it but it turns out yes her boyfriend is involved in all of this and Aaron's not even phased by any of this that's I think that's like the thing that I like the most not only is she able to kill most of these people be a complete badass she knows how to survive and heal herself or not heal herself but knows how to patch up like a wound or whatever but she's not faced by any of this talking to one of the girls and she had a really weird upbringing and how her dad feared the worst for her so he like taught her all these techniques and how to bandage yourself up and all this and it would come in handy like 30 years later or i don't know how old she is but maybe mid to late 20s but clearly it helped her out one thing i don't get though is the whole writing of the blood of your next i don't know if that's just the way for the marketing of this film or the filmmaker was like hey you know what? let's do something kind of cool let's just have these robbers or people write your next and like these victims blood because why not it looks cool right like i don't know what the purpose of that was for just kind of nitpicking on my part but i'm trying to remember the kills because i had this whole like on my notes good kills the only i remember is the blender there's that nail thing where she puts nail on the wood and one of the men have their foot impaled by nail or at least one nail because that's what you're watching this film for the kills the plot is you know aside from the whole Aaron thing it's there there for Aaron to kill all these people what the hell was it oh there's that wire kill i think the first time they hear all this panicking and sounds and whatnot or like a break-in one of the girls they try to run out the door and there's that wire that cuts her neck cool kill and then yeah i don't know i'm having a really hard time thinking about the kills which doesn't mean it's a good thing about this film anyways aside from that upon re-watching this film it is just pretty good i thought this film was like really damn good on first watch but after multiple rewatches why not it is just a typical slasher with that Aaron twist flipping the script on you but like okay her way through people and then the entire family because she has no one to trust or be with because they're all just gonna betray her or try to kill her and she's basically on her own until the very end so in the end your next is good slasher film it flips the script on you you don't really see it coming until it's shown on screen and then that's when the film goes from okay to being like, okay this is actually pretty good not as good as i remembered it from watching it back in 2015 the film came out 2011 2013 i watched it a couple years after still a good film but not as grand or great as i remembered it to be because it does take a while to get to where aaron kills all these people that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching